My name is Annabelle and I will be teaching you the distributive property. The distributive property is breaking big numbers into smaller numbers with addition to make them easier to multiply. So if you wanted to do A times B, you could split up B into C plus D. That would then be A times C plus D. You would then distribute A into C and A into D and that would leave you with A times C plus A times D. Then you could multiply those, and then when you get your products of each one, you could add them and get your full product of the original A times B. Now we will try them with actual number examples. We are going to multiply 3 times 4. You have 3 times 4, assuming you don't know the answer, so you will split up 4 into 2 plus 2. You then have 3 times 2 plus 2. You will distribute the 3 into the 2 and the 3 into the other 2, and it will leave you with 3 times 2 plus 3 times 2. You can then multiply 3 times 2 to get you 6, 3 times 2 to get you 6, Add them, and you get 12. 12 is the same, um, is your answer for 3 times 4. If you wanted to show that with a picture, you could have your picture. Assuming these are even cut pieces. And for, to show the distributive property on a picture, you would have three rows with two, coat, two green in each row. So three rows with two in each row. You would then have your other one, which is three rows with two in each row. Three rows with two in each row. And that also gives you 12. 12. So three times four is 12. I am then going to show you another example with a larger multiplication number. We are going to multiply 8 times 6. With 8 times 6, we are going to split up the 6 into 5 plus 1. So therefore we have 8 times 5 plus 1. We will distribute the 8 into the 5, and then the 8 into the 1, leaving you with 8 times 5 plus 8 times 1. 8 times 5 gives you 40. 8 times 1 gives you 8. You add those together, and you get 48. Now in a picture, you would show it like this. Here I have six rows with eight columns in each row. To show the distributive property, I will do eight columns with five in each row with the green marker. So I have eight columns, and I'm going to color five, five in each column. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way down. And that shows this first one. The next one is eight columns with one in each column, and that's going to be with the red. And that gives you your answer of 48, so 8 times 6 is 48. Eight columns, six in each column, and your product is 48, and that is the distributive property.